now let's use the purple play-doh to fill in her dress some more. Ariel's dress is looking very elegant. We'll use a little more purple Play-Doh to fill in the spaces. Now let's see what stamps Ariel makes. Here we have it in purple. And here's how it looks in the green one. Hey, it's Flounder, but he's purple. We'll use the stamps to decorate Ariel now. Here's her purple crown. I think Flounder is trying to say Ariel looks beautiful. Now let's do our last princess for today. Here's Snow White. We'll use the blue and pink sparkly Play-Doh. If you're a fan of Snow White, can you name all of the seven dwarves? I'm really liking this Play-Doh design.
We're not finished with Snow White yet, but who do you guys think will have the best dress? Cinderella, Ariel, or Snow White? This looks really pretty! Now let's create some stamps! Here they are in pink and blue! Here are the animals Snow White loves so much! Rabbits and birds! Here's her pink crown. We'll give her some heart decorations. And the bow. All three princesses look really good. Now let's mix and match them. Here's Ariel in Snow White's dress. And here's Snow White in Cinderella's dress. And Cinderella in Ariel's dress. Which one do you like? Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys are having a good holiday. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to watch more. See you soon! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today I have with me six beautiful Disney princesses. These are the Magic Clip figures, and you're probably familiar with them if you've seen them in the Glitter Glider playset videos. Just for you guys, they traveled far and wide to hang out with us today. So what are we going to do today? Well, I got this Play-Doh Sparkle set, and I thought it'd be a good idea to redesign all the princesses' dresses. We can even throw a fashion show. Let's see. We'll go with Queen Elsa first. And we'll use the yellow sparkly Play-Doh. Look at all that glitter! I can't wait to see what dress comes out of this! This dress is being designed by Frozen Outfitters, and it's made from the Kingdom of Arendelle. This brand is known for making casual and hip clothes, but they're still really nice and you can wear them out to formal events. Just look at how Elsa's dress is turning out! Another good thing about this brand is that it's very affordable. The blue glitter design adds a nice complement to the yellow dress. This dress that Queen Elsa's wearing costs 15 snowflakes. What do you guys think? Now let's move on to our next princess and fashion model, Belle. We'll be using the pink sparkly Play-Doh. This dress that she's about to wear comes from B&B, &B, which stands for Belle and Beast. This company is located deep within the forest and it's made inside the Beast's castle. This is also a very affordable brand, and I think anyone would love to wear these dresses. Just look at the beautiful designs!
The dress Belle is wearing today is a pink gown with purple designs. This one costs 20 enchanted roses. How would you guys rate it? Next up is Princess Anna. She'll also be wearing a dress from Frozen Outfitters. She's representing her kingdom of Arendelle. She'll be wearing a green dress today and look how sparkly it is! She definitely shines, even though this dress is not finished yet. Princess Anna asked Frozen Outfitters to make her signature outfit, so they'll finish her dress off with the pink sparkly play-doh. This dress is so Anna, don't you think? And you can buy this for 10 snowflakes. Time to move on to our next princess. Here's Sleeping Beauty. We'll be putting on a purple sparkly gown for her. This look comes from a faraway land, and it's called Once Upon a Dream by Aurora. The designer of this brand makes some really magical dresses. I'm really liking the purple and yellow. And the flower. Since this is a magical dress, all you need to do is sleep for 12 hours straight, and it'll magically appear on your front door. Pretty crazy, right? Next up, we have Cinderella. She actually has the most expensive dress on. Look at her sparkly pink and green gown. This is from the Midnight Collection, and it comes from a tiny kingdom in the faraway land. Like I said, the price is pretty hefty. It's three glass slippers, but you're paying for a really beautiful dress. Our last princess is Rapunzel. She's wearing a dress from Tangled and Gabbana, and it comes from the kingdom of Corona. She's wearing a stunning sparkly blue dress with some yellow highlights. This dress is also very unique, so it's gonna be on the more expensive side. It'll cost you a lock of golden long hair. That's pretty hard to find. The fashion show was really fun today. These were the dresses they were wearing before, and with a little magical transformation... These are the magnificent dresses they are wearing now, and they were all made from their respective kingdoms. Which dress did you guys like the best? Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and I know how much you guys like rainbow play-doh art, so today I'm bringing you Spiral Rainbow Ice Cream. I have all the colors of the rainbow lined out, so let's start with purple. It's very simple to make, all you need is an extruder. Since the purple one is our first color, we'll need to make it the biggest spiral. Let's put it on this plate. Now let's use the blue Play-Doh. This one will be smaller than the purple Play-Doh, and the next Play-Doh will be smaller than the blue Play-Doh. I'm sure you guys are getting the picture now. Let's make a green Play-Doh spiral this time.
Now we're moving on to yellow. Be sure to evenly stack it on top of each other. You don't want a crooked ice cream. Now let's make an orange spiral. And finally, we'll make a red spiral. This little piece will be the cherry on top. And here's our Play-Doh Spiral Rainbow Ice Cream! Write in the comments below if you want any more rainbow Play-Doh art! Well this was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Spiral Rainbow Swirl Ice Cream! Are you guys ready for some crazy fun Play-Doh art? I know I did a similar video like this before, but I'm using a different extruder this time, so I think the Rainbow Swirl Ice Cream is going to turn out much better! After you finish watching this video, compare it to the other one I made and let me know which one you think is better! It looks like licorice, huh? When you twirl it around like this, it also looks like a flower. The purple swirl's finished! I'll place it on the plate. Now let's use the blue play-doh. Remember, when you're stacking the Play-Doh on top of each other, make sure the one on top is slightly smaller than the one on the bottom, like this. Time for the green Play-Doh. We'll stack the yellow on top after. It's starting to look good! Nice! One more to go! I'll put the red on top, and ta-da! We have our Spiral Rainbow Swirl Ice Cream! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone! 
awesome Dizzy Toys here, and today we're bringing you another special edition of SpongeBob SquarePants Play-Doh Art. Today we'll be making a Krabby Patty. Cool. Let's start by making a hamburger bun. Nice! Now let's make the Krabby Patty. We'll use the Play-Doh knife to add some final touches to the patty. Let's use the yellow Play-Doh to make some delicious cheese. Here's a nice piece of cheese. We'll use some green Play-Doh to make some lettuce. This lettuce looks really fresh. We'll make a few tomatoes for the Krabby Patty. Here's our first tomato. Here's our second tomato. And this is our third tomato. Let's top off our Krabby Patty with another hamburger bun.
This Krabby Patty looks really good. Let's add some sesame seeds to the hamburger bun. Yum! Don't worry, we didn't forget the secret sauce. We just can't give away the formula. Thanks for watching Awesome Disney Toys. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon! Are you ready, kids? It's Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh art. We'll be making SpongeBob SquarePants. We'll start with the yellow Play-Doh, since that's the most important. Here's his yellow square body. Now let's use the white Play-Doh to make his shirt. Let's use the brown Play-Doh to make his pants. Now we'll make his legs. We have to give him some socks too. Let's use the black Play-Doh to make his shoes. Awesome! Now let's make his arms. SpongeBob's starting to look really good. Now let's make his eyes. We'll use some more of this black Play-Doh to make his smile. We can't forget his teeth. We also have to give him his rosy cheeks. Now let's make his nose. Let's also make his tie.
Let's decorate his socks. Cool. He also needs a belt to hold his pants up. Now let's add the finishing touches to SpongeBob. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you another special edition of SpongeBob SquarePants Play-Doh Art. Today we'll be making Patrick Star. We'll start by using the pink Play-Doh because that's the most important. Here's Patrick's head. Now let's use the green Play-Doh to make his pants. We'll use some more pink Play-Doh for his legs. Now let's make his eyes. We can't forget his eyebrows. Now let's make his big smile. We'll use some more pink Play-Doh to make his arms. Now let's add the finishing touches to his pants. This looks really good! We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more Awesome Disney Toys. Thanks! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you another special edition of SpongeBob SquarePants Play-Doh Art. Today we'll be making a Krabby Patty. Cool! Let's start by making a hamburger bun.
Nice. Now let's make the Krabby Patty. We'll use the Play-Doh knife to add some final touches to the patty. Let's use the yellow Play-Doh to make some delicious cheese. Here's a nice piece of cheese. We'll use some green Play-Doh to make some lettuce. This lettuce looks really fresh. We'll make a few tomatoes for the Krabby Patty. Here's our first tomato. Here's our second tomato. And this is our third tomato. Let's top off our Krabby Patty with another hamburger bun. This Krabby Patty looks really good. Let's add some sesame seeds to the hamburger bun. Yum! Don't worry, we didn't forget the secret sauce. We just can't give away the formula. Thanks for watching Awesome Disney Toys. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon!
Hey everyone, awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh Star Wars Canheads. We get Luke Skywalker and a Snowtrooper. Let's take a quick look at this awesome box. Here are the two Play-Doh can heads. On the left, we have Luke Skywalker, and on the right, we have a Snowtrooper. We get red Play-Doh with Luke, and blue Play-Doh with the Snowtrooper. Here's a mold to make an AT-AT. It's those droids that look like elephants. This is Luke's lightsaber. Zoom, zoom. And this is the snow speeder. I've always wanted to ride one of these. Give this video a thumbs up if you're a Star Wars fan. I'll play with the blue Play Doh first. Are you guys excited for the new Star Wars movie? I wish it came sooner. I can't believe we have to wait till December. Let's see, I'll make an AT-AT first. Whoa, that came out pretty good. Be careful of these guys! Time to use some red play though. If you look at the snow speeder, you can make some more molds. Here's one of the guns you can make off the snow speeder. And this is the other one. I'll stick one gun on the snow trooper. Actually, I'll put both on. Now he's ready for battle. If you look at the bottom, you can make another mold. This is a Viper probe droid. Let's give Luke Skywalker his lightsaber so that he can get ready for battle too. Luke, are you 
you ready to battle? Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. We'll put his lightsaber right there. And off we go! Oh, there seems to be an AT-AT up ahead. Ha! Take that! Incoming Snowtrooper! Watch out for the bullets! Nice! Good finish! Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And today, I'm bringing you a Play-Doh Sunday Station! I just love ice cream, so I'm super excited! Here's the back of the box. Yum! That ice cream looks good! Mmm, this one too! Ooh, I love sprinkles! Ooh, this one has three scoops! I can't wait to get my hands on everything! Let's see what's in this box! Wow, that's a lot of stuff in that bag! Looks like we have some Play-Doh and some parts! This looks like the base of our machine! Whoops, I had it upside down! I think that's the lever for our Sunday Maker! Let's take a closer look at what's in this bag! Let's just pour it all out! Cool, this is our Sunday dispenser. It has two areas for two different color Play-Doh. Oh, and this cuts the ice cream. That'll come in handy. Let's just push it right in here. Nice. And now let's put this lever on. That looks good to me. And I'm not sure what this is called, but... You put it together, and then put it in here. It helps push down the ice cream. Yum! This set comes with a pear mold. And you can't have a sundae without a cherry. Ooh, I love strawberries! Look at all the detailing inside. And bananas for our sundae! Here's our sundae bowl and our ice cream cup. Here's a spoon. Here's our first extruder rail. Here's another one. Ooh, this one has a triangle. And here's our last one. This is to hold our cup. It spins around to make the perfect spiral. Let's see what kind of Play-Doh we have. Ooh, Play-Doh Plus! Here's an orange one, a white one, and green regular Play-Doh. Here are the instructions. Finally, I've been craving some ice cream. Let's make a cup first. Let's grab some of this white Play-Doh Plus. I love how soft it is. And it smells kind of like cookie dough. Let's open up the machine. See how it has two sides? You put one color on one side and a different color on the other. I think we should make an orange vanilla swirl. What do you guys think? We can call it orange creamsicle. Now that our machine is filled, we put this device right inside and it'll help us push down the ice cream. You guys ready? Here it comes! You just push as hard as you can. Look at how pretty that color is! We just keep spinning it to make a swirl. Now we pull this lever to cut the ice cream. 
yes, this looks great. And here we have it, our orange creamsicle. But I guess it isn't a popsicle, so we can't say creamsicle. How about orange dream? Let me know in the comments what you guys would call it. We'll just leave that here for now and then make a sundae. This set didn't come with pink Play-Doh, but I had some on the side. Let's use our spoon as a scooper. Yum! Strawberry ice cream. Let's add a little bit of white. Strawberry vanilla ice cream. And what's a sundae without bananas? This set didn't come with yellow Play-Doh either, but I have some from a previous set. We just press the yellow Play-Doh into this mold, and it's gonna make us three bananas. Nice, those look perfect. Let's make a pair next. This set did come with green Play-Doh, so we'll use that. It's a little hard to get out. Got it. Time to do our strawberry. Again, we'll be using the pink Play-Doh that didn't come with the set. And a little bit of the green that did come with the set. Yum, this strawberry looks good. Can't forget about the cherry. I'll be using red Play-Doh that unfortunately didn't come with the set. But I'm sure you guys have some Play-Doh lying around, right? Whoa, that's one plump cherry. Now let's decorate our sundae. I like my sundaes with hot fudge. I'm gonna be using some brown Play-Doh that again, unfortunately didn't come with the set. We'll just roll it out and then lay it on top of our sundae like this. Mmm, it looks good. Do you guys like hot fudge on your sundaes? Give this video a thumbs up if you do. Time to add our bananas. These bananas look pretty ripe. Let's cut one off. And let's do another one for the other side. And last but not least, a cherry on top. For our ice cream cup, let's also use some chocolate. But this time, I think we should do sprinkles. Again, we just roll it out like we did the hot fudge. And I'll be using this tool to cut it up. I like lots of sprinkles on mine. <laughs> Let's stick them everywhere. The more the merrier. And our final touch, a cherry. Yum, here's everything we made. This set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed all the treats. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.